In China, the five-day-long Labor Day holiday began yesterday, but it was hard to find anyone celebrating in the capital city of Beijing. That's because of strict new COVID restrictions. They were introduced across the city yesterday as officials helped to prevent cases from surging like they did in Shanghai. NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey Fair joins us now from Beijing. Hey, Janice, so what is the scene like where you are in the capital city? It's quiet. Uh, it's uh, not being called a lockdown, but in many ways it does feel like one. There are tightening restrictions almost every day. Uh, schools are closed, movie theaters are closed, as well as theme parks, restaurants. You can't dine in. You can only take out or have delivery. You need to show a negative COVID test to get into a public park or to take the transit. And there is this daily mass testing campaign, a dragnet. 20 million people having to test multiple times in my district. We're needing to go every day now. They're not finding a lot of cases. Still fewer than 400 cases have been found despite millions of tests. But officials are adamant that they're going to find every single one. Uh, there's still a lot of concern here that a wider citywide lockdown could be coming. And that triggered some panic buying at stores last week, despite assurances that the city does have enough food. But a lot of people saw what happened in Shanghai, uh, the shortages there, the chaos there, the lockdown there still in its fifth week. And people certainly don't want to see a repeat of that here. Right. Janice, what is the reaction from people, especially because of this holiday this week? People are uneasy. They're disappointed. Uh, there are still areas around the city that are locked down. What happens under zero COVID is that whenever a positive case is identified, the whole neighborhood is locked down. So you get metal fencing that goes up, uh, sealing off buildings. It means in most cases people are allowed out of their homes, but they're not allowed out of their, their apartment compound yard. Uh, they have to go for regular testing. And so this is happening in pockets all around the city. Uh, so that's creating some anxiety and just the sense that the mass testing uh, keeps continuing uh, and the fact that the government has said that it will continue until they feel they have the outbreak under control. Um, in Shanghai, the cases are beginning to decline uh, and some people are being allowed out of their homes, but there are still uh, a lot of restrictions that are in place and little expectation that normal life is going to return anytime soon. And Janice, you mentioned that they are focused on sort of rooting out these cases and finding them. But is there any sign that China's zero COVID strategy might change at some point? Does it seem like it's working? Does it seem like something else could happen? It's less a, a matter of it's working and, and more a matter of when the authorities, being China's leadership, uh, chooses to change the wording or change the policy. We're not going to see it dropped anytime soon. Uh, politically, there is a lot at stake. China's government has uh, invested everything in zero COVID. They believe it shows that uh, it's a good system because the, late, the cases were largely contained for the better part of two years. Um, it's why they're, they're taking the approach that they are with these latest outbreaks, even though we know the Omicron variant is that much more transmiss transmissible as well. Uh, toward the end of the year, there is a very important uh, political party Congress uh, where Xi Jinping is expected to secure a third term in power. So there is the sense that nothing is going to change before then. Maybe early next year, uh, we might see some easing up on restrictions. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.